Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're shooting a wedding. I'm gonna bring you along on my first, well, no, it's not my first. You're gonna come along on your first wedding. It'll be a different sort of vlog. I'm gonna put the GoPro on top of my camera, kind of give you a little behind the scenes on some of the shots. Just need to clean up all this over here, throw it all together in a backpack, and um, we're gonna be off to Bunker Hills Golf Course where the ceremony and reception's happening. The GoPro, the main camera, is on top of my DSLR. You can probably see the, the hood of it at least, so it's gonna be a bit of a different view what it's like to be behind the camera. Let's do it. So we're about 20 minutes from the first look now, and I guarantee you that the boys are gonna be ready. There's no way they're not ready. <laughs> All right, Kelly's putting her dress on this way. We're all good? Oh, hey. Yeah! Okay, you wanna look back at your mother? Give her a smile. Nice. Oh, that's cute. Nice. All right, Kelly's looking real fine. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know what a first look is, back in the day, most weddings, the bride and groom would see each other for the first time walking down the aisle, but kind of these days more popular is they see each other before the wedding because then you can get a lot of the pictures done and it just makes for, a, I, I like it, it's a better schedule and they can have more of an intimate moment between the two of them. So. That's what we're doing. We're uh, heading to a spot that Sam and I scouted. Yep. And uh, I see a bride behind us. Things, things are good. Come this way, Kelly. First look. Some nerves, I think. Some nerves in the air. Okay, you can keep walking closer. <laughs> okay, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Okay, stop right there. Don't turn around yet. Okay, you guys can turn, you can turn around, Sam. All right, first look was a success. Okay, look over at him again. No, that's great. Oh, guys, these shots. Like, I'm really excited about these shots. Oh, okay, lean in for a kiss. Do you know how to dip her for a kiss? Have you dipped her before? Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, man. For first kiss? First, first dip? That's pretty good. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so we got the girls in the bush now, giving the guys a little break. And uh, hopefully they don't hurt themselves. All right, can you tell them a joke, Kelly, to make them laugh or something? Right, here we go. Three, two, one. That looks pretty badass. Three, two, like just think of like dying puppies. There you go. Three, two, one. Sorry, I made all you guys laugh. <laughs> We're done all the photos now. And this is when I have a little bit of time to escape and do what I think is something that uh, is a really good thing that a lot of photographers should do that don't do is the same day slideshow. And what's the same day slideshow, you might ask. Well, in these couple minutes I'm gonna have here, 
between now and between um, when people are eating. Weddings are crazy days, so if I don't eat, it's not a big deal. But what I'll do is I'll take my laptop and I'll edit 50, 70 of my favorite photos. Hopefully I get them done during supper and then I'll have them up on the slideshow by the time the evening starts. And sometimes even during supper, depending on how the schedule is. So a lot of people aren't on social media. While a lot of people are, there's a lot of grandparents that aren't, aunts and uncles. And it's like, you want them to see the photos, right? And they may not see the photos at all if they don't see them at the wedding. So, you know, obviously I don't edit them as fine tuned as I do when I actually deliver them. But if you're just doing a quick edit over 50 photos and you're quickly importing them, for one, it's nice to back up your photos before you leave the wedding anyways, which is something smart to do. I'm always really worried about losing photos or getting in an accident and losing that memory card. So right away I'm backing up my photos. That's one good reason for it. Secondly, you're showing all the relatives the photos that they might not get to see. And the other part is it'll blow people's minds. It's really not that difficult, but I can't tell you the comments I get on it. Like it takes a little more effort, but sometimes going a little bit further than the next time when they're getting married or the friends getting married, they'll be like, Remember that same day slideshow where the photos were all of a sudden on the projector half an hour later? Like that stuff's huge because there's a ton of photographers and anything you can do to just separate yourself. I mean, I, I think that's, that's everything, right? So I always try to make the extra effort there and it's just cool seeing people's reactions to see the photos from the morning that evening. So anyways, I'm gonna upload my photos right now. Nothing left so holds on tight as a hurricane breaks to fall. All right, photos are uploading. I'm probably gonna go shoot the ceremony now, I'll come back, and then when people start eating supper and stuff, then I'll do some edits. Take me away, I'm running for my life, for my life. What's with your delay, you're only killing time, killing time. So take me away, I'm running for my life, for my life. my favorite 60 or 80 photos. I'm going pretty quick. I might be not picking the best photos, but the biggest thing is just getting them done as soon as possible. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using Lightroom. I'll do some more in-depth tutorials on Lightroom yet, but basically I've uploaded the photos and I'm pressing the P button. The P button creates a flag, so it'll flag all them. So we're going through 2,000 photos. I'll flag probably 100. I'll edit those 100 photos and then I'll put it into slideshow mode. So, but I'll show you that. All right, so this is pretty quick editing, but I'm just going through them, and I set a preset on pretty much all of them, and now I'm just going through and changing the exposure. But I'll just tell you, they're not gonna be perfect. <laughs> Kelly's just looking at me talking to myself like I'm a crazy man. Yes, I'm sitting by myself in the corner talking to myself. Oh, vlog life. This one's a pano. This is a stitch of like 10 photos together. That one I'm really bumped with. Look how good these guys look. Oh man, oh man, this is awesome. I can't wait to share these photos. Anyways, I gotta finish. I got 150 photos to edit. We're getting a double vlog going on here. We got Sam's mom over there, life of the party. Uh, so I just finished 150 photos. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a slideshow now. Watch this, really easy. You click slideshow right there. Click slideshow. I don't want my name on there. Don't want the stars. I don't want any of this other stuff. I'm just gonna uncheck all this. Um, pretty much all I wanna do is four seconds, crossfades, repeat slideshow standard. Uh, it's gonna be 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna go to the start here. Press play. It's just gonna prep for the slideshow and it's gonna start rolling. And I'm gonna hook it up to the projector. It's just gonna run for probably all the supper. It's gonna 
people are gonna like it, I think. I'm, I'm really pumped with these photos. Anyways, I'm pretty pumped if you can't tell, but I'm gonna go eat, because I'm starving. I'll share a couple photos with you guys. So Sam and Kelly are uh, hitched, as they say. They are officially married. It was an amazing day. And something I like to do with couples when it works with the schedule is to sneak out around sunset. We don't have too much of a sunset right now, but it is nice light and maybe we'll get them out on the golf course. I don't know where, don't want them getting hit. All right, friends, a little bit of light left. We're gonna do some drone photos at this gorgeous golf course. I have 35 minutes of footage. Hopefully I don't hit myself in the face. <laughs> 